You're now listening to the Art of Reinvention Show, hosted by your boy Teflon John. Where my goal is to change the world one person at a time by provoking thought. And you're now in the right place to receive motivation, inspiration, so you can make it throughout your day, so you can make it throughout your week. And so, like I said, I just want you guys to sit back and just absorb all the content. And as I always say, one love, be blessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Teflon John coming to you courtesy of the I Am Teflon John brand. All the Reinvention Podcast Show, and I appreciate every last one of you guys who are tuning in and listening. I appreciate you guys for sharing this. I appreciate you guys for just supporting the brand and continuing to tell people about it. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we're doing very good with the downloads. Um, you know, on Spotify, you know, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Lipson. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're going to get right into the episode. Um, and, you know, we're just going to be talking about I'd rather die failing than to live a life not trying. Right. I'm going to say it again. Today's episode is I would rather die failing to had lived a life not trying. And I want you to really grasp that. Right. I would rather die failing than to had lived a life not trying. And what I want to say is because so many people, man, you know what I'm saying? Are out there and they want to do certain things. They want to change. You know, they want to increase their income. They want to get a new job. But they're stuck in their comfort zone. They're stuck in their comfort zone. And it's hard because it's easier to accept um, the fact of you not, you know, um, having a bad outcome because you didn't try anything. Right. But in the back of your head, you know, OK, um, I should have went. I should have did this, you know. And what what that leads to is a life full of of regrets because at some point you're going to think back and realize man i should have done abc during that time period you know what i'm saying i should have done efg during that time period and what happens is um by then the, the resources might not be there you know that circle of people that could have helped you um you know obtain whatever you're trying to go after might not be there and the timing could just be wrong you know with technology or you know whatever's going on but what i want you guys to realize is that you know, you want to die empty. You know what I'm saying? You want to die empty. And so, you know, I've said this before. You hear a lot of motivational speakers and a lot of guys saying it, but they say that the graveyard is one of like the richest places to be because people have taken these million dollar ideas, thousand dollar concepts or whatnot, and they've taken them to their grave where they didn't share it. They didn't do anything with it. They did not, you know, try to go after it. And many times we surround ourselves with people and people get to planting seeds of doubt in our heads that it's not going to work. Don't try it. And if that's the reason why you're not starting, you need to find you a new circle of friends. You know, some people are comfortable with you being the underdog. Some people are, com more, are more comfortable with you being the borrower than the lender. And it's just sad to say that that's the society that we live in now. Sometimes there's people in your family. Sometimes it's your spouse. Sometimes it's your friends. Sometimes it's distant relatives, co-workers. Sometimes it's just people that you call a friend. Some people would rather not see you make it. And then you have on the other side of the coin is so many people have not made it. Whether because they've given up or they didn't survive the process and they're giving you and speaking from their life experience. Right. And they and they're trying to stop you from trying. And like I said, the whole theme of today's episode, the title is, you know, I rather die failing. And when you fail, it's not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? When you fail, you actually produce uh, one of the most powerful concepts in life is a lesson. You know, some people go to college and they pay thousands and thousands and thousands on top of thousands of dollars to get, you know, education in certain aspects of life. Right. But there's nothing like a genuine lesson on trying to do something, going through the process and it doesn't work. And you gain all this knowledge. Right. You gain all these resources and you gain all these access to actually having hands on experience. Right. And sometimes when we look at failure. The main reason why we didn't fail your bad is because we're viewing how other people are going to view us. I'm going to say that again. The main reason we deem failure to be bad because we're viewing how other people will view us. And many times these people would not care. These people would not remember you when they woke up the next morning. You know what I mean? So 
Um, I hear it a lot of times where people are like, oh, you know, don't don't come out the house wearing that or you shouldn't have this on or don't be talking like this because them people over there, them people over there don't even know who you are. And like I said, the majority of those people that you're around and the majority of those people that you're trying to please, the majority of people that you think care don't. They have a lot going on. Some people have too much going on to be thinking about what you had on, the pair of shoes, your outfit choice for the day. You know what I'm saying? So it shouldn't matter to you what people think. Let me tell you, when you get to the point where you cannot care about what people think, good or bad, and Gary Vaynerchuk, you know what I'm saying? He really put me on this where... You shouldn't care what people say bad about you, but you, you shouldn't care on the, on the other side either because you're going to feed more into doing things only to get a good response. But you shouldn't care when people are talking bad, when people are talking good, because what happens is now you begin to you get to make these decisions for yourself and figure out if they're going to produce results and figure out if it's going to give you what you need. And so what I want you to realize is that, you know, by you caring about what people think, it's going to stop you from trying. It is. It's just going to stop you from trying. I, you know, I remember times where um, I would think about how people would look at me, you know, before I made any type of decision. You know what I'm saying? And it was to the point where it's driving me crazy. Like it was giving me these anxious vibes because, you know, it was something I really wanted to do in my heart. But because I was viewing how people would look at me, how people would perceive me. You know what I'm saying? It was very, very, very crazy for me to actually push forward. And what? I, and another point I want to stress is most people are not in your is are, are are not in your lane. You know, so if I'm doing podcasts, I'm doing motivational speeches, I'm doing videos. Most people that I fear, you know what I'm saying, or most people that I used to fear commenting or leaving bad reviews are not even in that field. Like they're not putting themselves out there. So why would I care about what they think anyway? You see what I'm saying? And so when you live in your life and you think about things that you want to accomplish, you got to try. You know what I'm saying? And if you fail, so what? You learn, you get up, get back on a horse and you try it again. But the problem is when you don't try, you don't learn anything. You don't advance. You don't open um, other attributes or abilities that or talents that you might have. There's so many people that you watch and listen to every day, celebrities, entertainers. That lived a life of failure in order to them to get to the point where we can see them in order for them to get to the point where they have their own show. You know what I'm saying? Where they have their own record label or whatever. But they were not afraid to fail, you know, and it's not always like that. A lot of times you are afraid to fail. You are afraid that if I try something and it doesn't work, what is that going to look like? But I would rather you be comfortable. I would rather it would still be a problem for me, but I would rather you be. I would rather be happy for you, happier for you if you didn't try something because you viewed the failure versus you didn't try something because you're looking at how someone else is going to view your failure. I'm serious. Do you think that average um, professional athlete cares about what a fan says? I mean, think about it. If you're Le a LeBron James playing at the level that he's playing on, do you think he's caring about the dude that couldn't make seventh grade his seventh grade basketball team who's working a you know nine to five job on who's out of shape it, it shouldn't matter you know what I mean it shouldn't matter because that's like comparing apples to an ink pen it shouldn't matter they're in two different lanes and so what I want you guys to do is continue to think about what it is you want to do and just realize you have to accept that fact that some things are just not going to work out right away but it doesn't mean that, that it's going to not eventually work out for you. There's so many times where, you know, if it weren't for certain things happening, you wouldn't be hearing my voice. There would be no episode 61. There would be no, you know, talk show on YouTube. There would be no me trying to go after gigs and, you know, trying to, uh, you know, use my voice to, you know, impact the world. There would be none of that had it been for me not getting over hurdles like I have a speech impediment. There are times where I stutter. You know what I'm saying? Where I took speech from a child all the way up until like eighth grade. You know, I, I took speech classes. So hadn't it been for me going through that failure and learning how to speak, learning how to um, articulate. Um, I, I might still be thinking about what you guys think about if I stutter and if it happens, it happens. You know, I used to try to edit it out. Now I don't, you know, e even in my videos when it happens. 
It happens. But I'm not going to let that drive me. I'm not going to let that drive my de- my decision and whether or not I'm, I'm going to deliver content. And you got to get to that point where it doesn't matter what people think as long as you're happy. And I'm happy with the way I am. I'm happy with who I am and I'm happy with my voice. And so what you got to do is become very strong, become very resilient in who you are. And realize that you can get there. So I don't care what it is. I don't care, you know, if your life's been hard since you were five years old or since birth. If you keep trying, eventually you're going to get there. So you have to realize that you're not the only one going through. You have to realize that you're not the only one that is, um, you know, I'm saying going through a hard time. You're not the only one. And so that's not an excuse for you not to even try. It's not an excuse. And I understand where where you get to a point where. You know, things haven't worked out for so long in life. Things haven't worked out for so many consecutive days or so many consecutive attempts where it's easier not to try because you don't want to deal with the letdown. You don't want to deal with the negativity or you don't want to deal with the disappointment. But I'm telling you that disappointment should only be fueled to that car to keep driving until you get there. That disappointment, that letdown should be fueled to your car to keep driving until you get there. And I just want to I just want to stress I just want to stress that to you guys, man. There's, there's been days where things are not working out. You know, me and my mother um, at a young age, you know, when I was young, uh, we lost our house because, I, was, you know, her husband, my stepfather at the time just left. You know what I'm saying? We went from front backyard, nice neighborhood to public housing. And it was times where for years I didn't know we were going to come out of it or not. I was just determined to do something different. But through that failure. It gave me one of the most valuable lessons ever. You know what I mean? Like it gave me the ability. It gave me just to continue to push, just to continue to do. So I really want you guys to keep pushing because I don't care what you're in. I don't care how depressed you may get. Your life is worth living. So if you're thinking about committing suicide, if you think about taking your life, if you're thinking about ending it all, just realize that there is something for you to do. That is something for you to accomplish. There is that is something that you can give somebody on this planet Earth. And your life is worth living. And I want you to share that to people because there's so many people that we don't know what they're going through because they're internalizers. Not everybody's going to tell you. Not everybody's going to be that person where you can look in their face and see what they're going through. Some people are internalized and you have to let them know that even though they're failing, even though they feel like they're a failure in life, that's a good thing because they're continuing to try. They're continuing to make attempts. But let them know that their life is worth living. And that was just today's episode tonight. Whenever you're choosing to listen to episode number 61, I'd rather die failing than live a life where I never tried. Um, continue to share this episode. Visit my website, www.imteflonjohn.com. That's John spelled J-O-H-N, where you can access all my motivational videos, my motivational blogs. You can get a direct link to my podcast. You can see all the content that I have. If you go ahead and subscribe to that website, you'll get firsthand notifications through email whenever I produce a new piece of content. And I just appreciate you guys for rocking with me. I I appreciate you guys for continuing to support the brand. I have more content coming. Shout out to Shaquille Cook, Martre Stevens, Keisha Pollard. Um, and just shout out to everybody, man, that's that's doing it, man. Shout out to everybody that's doing it. Shout out to Willie Sanders. Keep your head up, bro. Keep moving. And like I said, man, um, as I end this episode, never forget, you would rather live a life where you die failing than to live a life where you never tried. And that's all I have to say. Have a good night. Have a good week. Be empowered. And as always say, one love, be blessed. We would like to thank you for listening to this episode of The Art of Reinvention by Teflon John. And we encourage you to share this episode across all your social media platforms. And we also encourage you to visit our website at www.imteflonjohn.com and follow us on all our social media platforms at facebook.com slash realteflonjohn, twitter.com slash realteflonjohn, and instagram.com slash realteflonjohn. And while you're on Facebook, go ahead and like our page so you can receive firsthand notifications every time we go live with a motivational video or any motivational content. And as I always say, one love, be blessed.